Hey, my beautiful shining stars. So, the Nickelodeon Halo Awards is coming up, which celebrates teens and their commitment to community service and is the concert event of the season. So I was inspired to make this fun teen award show look perfect for the orange carpet. Okay, so I want my skin to be flawless, so I'm going to be using my Kat Von D foundation and applying it all over my face with a beauty blending sponge. Next, I'm going to take my really light MAC foundation and do all my highlighting down the nose, under the eyes, and any other place I feel like brightening. After that, I'm going to use a really dark foundation from my Cinema Secrets palette and contour the areas of my face that I want to slim down. So down the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, down the sides of my nose, and just blend it all in. I'm also going to go over what I just did with my Buxom Bronzer. Then set it all in with my Universal Lotus Powder from Pacifica. This is really going to help if you're going to an event where you're planning on taking lots of photos, just so your features don't get lost in all the bright lights. Taking a light shimmery shadow from my Bare Minerals Ready Palette, I'm going to add some extra highlight on the top of my upper cheekbones for a more glowing effect. And I'm also going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. For my cheeks, I'm going to take a Dusty Rose Blush and apply it to the apples of my cheeks and work up towards my hairline. Now taking a large green cream pencil. This one is from BH Cosmetics in Huntress. I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid, blending it in with my fingers and taking it under my lower lash line as well. Going back to the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take this dark sparkling green shadow and work it from my outer corner and into my crease. Then taking a small dome brush, I want to apply it under my lower lash line. Now to add some sparkle and shine. I'm going to take my Lime Crime Glitter in Scorpio, which has beautiful green, black, and blue sparkles, and place that right on my lid. After that, I'm going to go back to the eyeshadow palette and use the shimmery taupe green shadow going above my crease with a fluffy blending brush and working it in. Then I'm going to take NYX's Glide On Slide On Black Liner and apply it to the upper and lower lash line. Time to curl them lashes for some lift. Then apply black mascara starting at the bottom of the lash line and wiggling upwards. Add your favorite pair of falsies placing them as close to the lash line as possible and adjust with tweezers. Then to help blend the lashes in, I'm going to apply some liquid liner. Using Pacifica's eye pencil and fringe, I'm going to fill in and define my brows. And just blend them with a spoolie. Spoolie, spoolie! Now on to the lips. Oops. Ooh, oh. Oop. Using a nude lip liner from Bare Minerals, I'm going to outline my lips. And fill them in with NYX's Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. And topping it all off with that shimmery shadow that I used in the beginning to lock it all in. And blah. Mwah. I'm also going to add some Smell Good Shimmer, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so for my outfit, I wanted to keep it fun yet glamorous. So I have these chunky black wedges, a Star Wars clutch, this sweetheart green sequence dress, topped off with a green and blue chunky necklace. And there is your final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. You could catch the Halo Awards on Sunday, November 30th at 7 p.m. 6 central on Nickelodeon. Remember, you're beautiful, baby, so shine like a star.